So how can I enroll my old Mac devices in Apple Business Manager? Oh, that's a fun one. You need one of these. You need a phone. You need an iPhone. <laughs> you need an iPhone. It has to be an iPhone. Can't be an Android phone. Can't be an iPad. It has to be an iPhone for reasons. Yeah, I haven't tried it with an iPad. Doesn't work. Um, doesn't work. I have, really? I have tried that. It, it, wow. The app does not download to the device. It is it is scoped only to iOS. It is not it will not run on iPad OS. Hmm. Um, it requires an Apple Business Manager account, an Apple Business Man Manager managed Apple ID with device manager privileges. And it also requires you to wipe the device at play. Um, what oh, happens? That's good. The Mac OS device, because you can only go through uh, to get a device enrolled into Apple Business Manager from the setup assistant and from a specific screen on the setup assistant. Um, I'll find the Apple documentation for iOS or configurator for iOS on how you do this, but it's a three step process. Wipe the device, set up configurator for iOS, and during setup assistant at a specific screen, you will take your phone out, open up the configurator for iOS. It's going to give you a camera view because it uses the camera here. The display of the Mac OS device goes into that swirling dot array like you'd get on the on the oh, Apple much. Watch during setup. Um, and you scan the swirling <laughs> dot array and it automatically manages the device. On Apple Silicon devices, you then have to proceed through um, automated device enrollment. Um, and that means assigning the device in your Apple Business Manager to your Jump Cloud MDM or to your other MDM, whichever MDM you're using. Um, that's going to give you that, that experience. You'll be able to enroll those devices, much like iOS devices that are enrolled in Apple Business Manager through this means. There's a 30-day removable period. So any macOS device that has never been through this process before, the MDM enrollment profile is provisional and can be removed by any admin user on the device for the first 30 days. After 30 days, that enrollment hardens and it's now an Apple Business Manager device. So. Wow. Could you repeat that process? Sure. <laughs> Happy to. It's not straightforward, right? Like, I mean, it, it, it's, it's very clear. Cool. You fun. Got Yeah. If you, if you have nothing better to do with your week, this is fun. I mean, My honestly, Apple stock thanks you for making sure you buy an, an iPhone <laughs> just to exactly. officially enroll your Macs. That's it's right. You need an iPhone. Man. So you got to get an iPhone. You got to sign into a, a configurator for iOS with a managed Apple ID that has device manager permissions. Okay. And it's got to be a 14 Max Pro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> but but if you're gonna submit for an iPhone just so you can enroll devices, I mean you want the camera to be good. Little That's zoom right. there. Very important. Uh, Absolutely. You don't have to be that close to the screen. Uh, Absolutely. You actually have to boot up that Mac, right? Because it has to have a, a monitor attached to it. Because yes, it does correct. a little Wait, swirly oh. funny QR code, like when you're pairing a watch, right? That's right. Uh, it's really beautiful looking. But it's a combination of that and Bluetooth that's used to validate you're actually in front of that device and you've got physical connection to it. That's correct. As big of a pain as that sounds, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so I mean, you know that they thought about this and they were like, how do we make sure that dot grid? You know the swirling dots. I think that there's a there's a formal name for that uh, for, for for that experience. I'm not sure what it's it not swirly. I, the swirly dots. I mean, I mean that's what I call them. Um, but you scan the swirly dots for during setup assistant, and again, you have to have wiped that Mac. It has to be oh, at yes. setup assistant, um, which is inconvenient. Don't get me wrong. Um, but you wipe the device. You run it through setup assistant at a specific moment. It's the language picker in most on most machines. Uh, huh. It's the language picker. Um, so in the language picker screen, you hold your phone nearby the device. If it's it, with iOS configure open, it does a special Bluetooth beacon that essentially says, hey, you, I know you're in setup mode. They, that's what causes the swirly dots to appear. And then you can scan the swirly dots. It joins the device to your Apple Business Manager environment. And that's when you can do the device assignment. Uh, so cool. It, amazing. It, it really is. It's just amazing technology.
Please subscribe and check out more content from us.